So I'm going to talk about acne almost like an extension to my grooming and hygiene parts of my looks maxing guide. I had pretty bad acne from ages 12 to about 20 years old. I think a large part of it was due to like hormones and puberty and all of those weird and wonderful things. But I also think a lot of it went away now due to particular practices I followed. So as a starting point, buy a facial cleanser that has salicylic acid. I'm going to put it over the screen just so you can see the spelling of it. But essentially, this is a sort of cleanser that on one hand reduces like the oils in your face. It's like an exfoliator, if, that's what, if you know what that is. Um, so that will like remove the oils from your face, like almost like go beneath your skin and remove some stuff. I personally told this day I actually use it once a day and use like a normal cleanser the other time because I wash my face twice a day. I suggest you also wash your face twice a day, but if you have like super dry skin, maybe play around with it one time a day. Because that's another point, if you have like super dry skin, that in itself could be causing your acne. Very rare that it does, but do play around, that's something I can't instruct you with directly. But if you're like me and has combination skin or even if you have oily skin, twice a day is definitely what you should be going for. Beyond this, you probably now also, at least somewhat like me, once your acne got bad, you went through this thing of like really pressing hard into your skin and wanting to like almost scrub your face. Don't do that. When I was doing that, that's when I had my worst acne. What it was doing and what it would be doing for you is causing inflation. Inflation in itself or inflammation. Um, inflammation is going to give you acne in itself because it's going to irritate your skin and lead to like this random spots coming out. Instead, you want to rub your skin very gently, not too long either. Spend about 20 seconds washing your face. This the same point here follows now. You don't want to be using like a rough exfoliator. So like salicylic acid is like chemical exfoliator, that's fine. But you have like a mechanical exfoliators, I think that's what they're called. But it's like the exfoliators with beads in it. Don't use those. Especially if you tend to be able to draw on your skin. So those are for me like the two main practices when, when washing your face itself. But there's some other things you should incorporate when like just generally helping your skin out. So keep your hands clean at all times. I spoke about this in part one of like this video, but especially your nails, a lot of dirt gets stuck beneath your nails. You want to get your nails as short as possible, especially if you're a man, then it looks better that way anyway. If your hands are kept clean, then you're also less likely to like transfer dirt from your hands onto your face. You shouldn't be touching your face as a starting point, but a lot of us have that happened, myself included. So it does happen sometimes. Especially after you're eating though. Wash your hands as soon as you're done eating. Before food eating obviously isn't get to be help your skin if you put it on your skin. So yeah, wash that off. Now after you've gone past this phase now of like having acne and all of that, you're likely gonna have like some spots on your face, like or acne scars, that's the word I'm looking for. To get rid of that what worked for me is tissue oil. Tissue oil is like this mixture of oils that has vitamin E and like random other oils that remove acne scars and scars in general. And I'm going to get very close to the camera here, but thinking so I don't have any major scars. I have one here that actually isn't coming up on camera, but this was pretty bad before in the sense that that actually wasn't acne. I had a bat bite me, <laughs> fun times. It was literally during COVID itself, so big joke at the time, but I had this bat bite me here. So I had this scar here for like six months or so. Um, after that six months, I then started putting on tissue oil and it went away in like a month. So tissue oil is a great asset. If for whatever reason, none of this stuff has really helped you, then I think you should look towards your diet. I'm not going to go into too much detail in this video. I actually made a full video on the perfect diet. So check that out, I'll link it down below actually. But in essence, you want to be avoiding processed foods. So whether it's like processed meat, processed grains that includes like bread, rice, even like anything that has flour in it. I know this sounds like you are restricting carbohydrates now. 
but you can still have like potatoes, sweet potato, banana, many sort of fruits in general actually. So you are limiting your carbs, but you're not like fully eliminating it, if that makes sense. Beyond that, obviously no sweets, no chocolates. Avoid oily food, try to cook in butter, olive oil is fine. I'll just give you a quick summary of the video, but if you want to learn more, check out the video. I'm, I'm gonna link it down below. If none of this has helped you, I really do urge you to comment down below. One of the boys here might have a similar experience as you and might be able to help you out. You can also join my Discord server, that's also linked in the description below. Obviously, you can also go down the route of seeing a dermatologist. Don't think you need to go that far personally, but if you want to go down that route, then yeah, I mean, no problem in it. But with that said, bro, I wish you all the best. I'll see you in the next one. It's becoming a bit mad.